hey guys I'm going to show you how to fix this problem on your Windows system so in the first step open device manager window then expand display adapters now right click here and select update drivers now we need to wait for some time once installation done just close this window and move to the next step go to search bar and type here control panel then click here to open it now click on system and security then go to power options from high performance click on change settings then change advanced power settings now it will open a new window that is power options from here expand wireless adapter settings and expand power saving mode now from settings click on maximum power saving and then click on apply and then ok once done close this window now go to search bar and type here task manager then click here to open it now click on run new task then click on browse button now we need to open C drive then click on window double click on windows folder and open it now search for system32 folder then expand now search for cmd.exe file select it and click on open now this will be our path so check this box and click on ok it will open a new command prompt window now here type these two important commands carefully type in sfc space slash scan file equal to c colon slash windows slash system32 slash ie frame dot dll and hit enter to execute the command now type in sfc space slash verify file equal to c colon slash windows slash system32 slash ie frame dot dll and type exit to close the command prompt window now go to search bar and type here cmd right click on it and select run as administrator now type power cfg space dash h space off and hit enter simply restart your system and your problem will be solved